morning, Quadcopter 101, and before we get started, let's get today's shout-out out of the way. Today's shout-out goes to Martin Smith. Martin was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins the shout-out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with another review of another neat uh, micro-whoop. This is the iFlight Turbo V 77R. Looking at the 77R, it's another 77mm whoop, um, but it's a brushless 77mm whoop. Uh, actually, it has some something new that I haven't seen before, but it's a Success S-U-C-C-E-X micro tower is included inside here. Uh, what that means is you got a 3-in-1 tower here with both flight controller, it's a F4 flight controller, uh, 12, oh yeah, let me get in the picture here, <laughs> F4 flight controller, 12 amp ESC with BL Hell ES, uh, video transmitters also included in there, 0, 25, 100, 200 milliwatt uh, video transmitter that includes smart audio. Now, um, with this, this drone is supposedly capable of being powered by 2S, 3S, and 4S batteries, so that should make this a pretty uh, zippy little whoop if it actually works with 4S. Um, the motors on it are B motor, 1103, uh, 10,000 kV motors. Um, I'll show them to you right here if this will focus on them. But um, that should give it enough oomph. We'll see again with, when we go flying it. Um, it is loaded up with, like, let me see if I can remember what was on here. Hold on, folks. The F4 flight control board is loaded up with uh, Maytech F4, yeah, Maytech F411, which is... Uh, Beta flight 3.5.7 dated March 15, 2019. So, you know, it's relatively recent uh, 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 software on board this aircraft. Now, what else do you get with this? Uh, you get a CADEX EOS 2, CADEX uh, US Turbo EOS 2 camera. Um, it should actually look pretty darn good when we go flying this. We'll find out. In previous CADEXs that I've flown actually do come out very nicely and we'll see if this one works just as well. Now what else do you get in the box? In the box, you get the box first of all. <laughs> the, uh, the box itself is a nice little carrying case for the drone. Let me take this off here to show you. And you put the drone in there and its accessories inside there. So all in all, a nice little box. But what else do you get? You get a, a label labels to replace the ones already on here if you do need to replace them in the future here, especially if you break one of these, um, you'll get extra labels to go with it. Uh, you get a full spare set of propellers, you get a full set of screws, and one, and you get a um, battery <laughs> strap, and this thing here. Now, this is one of the cons that I want to mention about this particular drone. The access port, the micro USB access port for this drone, is recessed pretty well down deep in this area here. You can't just plug in a micro USB in there. That's what they give you this for. This is an extender. And to get this, to actually insert this, you're going to need to remove the top uh, plate off the top of the drone. And then you'll be able to, and you're also going to need to be able to pry this apart a little because this does not fit in there neatly, okay? But it does fit in there if you pry these just off off edge just a little bit here so that you can insert this in there and then you'll be able to go in there and adjust beta flight as needed okay so that's what this is for this is just an extender to that micro USB port because right now <laughs> it's hard as heck to get anything in there now I mentioned this is powered by 2S, uh, 3S and 4S batteries the smallest ones that I got for 2S and 3S and 4S let me get them here show them to you uh, the ones that I got is this is my little 2S generic 2S. It works really well on most of my drones. But I got this Tattoo 450 milliamp per hour 3S battery that I plan to fly with it. And if I can try it, I'm going to try this 4S also. Uh, this 4S is a little bit hefty, I think, for this particular drone, but we'll see if it can lift it. Um, this, again, this is the smallest I got. This is another 450 milliamp per hour uh, 4S battery, but again, I think it might be a little bit too hefty for this particular drone. Now, the drone itself is available and DSMX, DSM2, FlySky, uh, FreeSky, and in FreeSky it's available both in um, XSR and XM1 receivers. And uh, TBS Crossfire it's also available. And Futaba, it's also available in Futaba. So those are the three that's available. I didn't see it available as a PNP, so you're going to have to get one a drone with a receiver. So those are the receiver options that you get. So that, again, is the iFlight Turbo B77R. Let's take it out in the field and see how it flies, so hope you enjoy this flight. 
Good morning, Quadcopter 101. We are at near one of my favorite flying fields here of a flight of the iFly Turbo Bee. Uh, first off, I'm going to start off with a 2S battery uh, flying line of sight, and then I'll switch to another 2S battery to fly uh, FPV, and then finish off with a 3S battery, and hopefully uh, that'll show you the difference between 2S and 3S. Um, I was going to fly 4S, but the smallest battery that I got for, with 4S is 450 milliamp hour. I think it's a little bit too big for this, and that's why I'm going to skip 4S with this drone. But we'll start off with 2S. So, okay, I got it set up in beta flight, so I'm arming it now, and we're going to take off. This is a 2S again. Let's see how it flies. Actually, not too bad. Let me bring it over. And I want to try something. I want to, uh, this is uh, horizon mode. Let's see how it does in horizon mode. Bring it over near me and punch it up and then flip it. Punch it up and flip it. Flip it. It flips really well with this. How <laughs> about a backflip? Okay, up and a forward flip. So all in all, not too bad, even with the 2S. So you don't really need to, you know, people are looking for 4S oomph, but uh, with these little, with these particular little micro whoops, I don't think, I think 4S is overkill to tell you the truth, folks, you know. I would just skip the 4S. Let's go back to, whoops. <laughs> I always do that. I get the switches mixed up. Guess what I did? I turned it off. Uh, but let's go back to angle mode. And I want to see what type of range we got, if I can go around the park here in angle. So, arming, take it to the air again. And just going around the park. So, yeah, it goes over there. type of speed can I get with this 2S? Quite a bit of speed, even with 2S. That's not bad at all, folks, if it could do that. So, I am kind of excited now to fly this FPV because this thing can move. I'm going to pitch up the camera real well. I like I like flipping this thing. I'm using the horizon mode. I'm cheating. I know I'm cheating. You shouldn't be using the horizon, but well, acro is tough to do this. Okay, I have a hard time flying this acro in in line of sight, especially these little things that you really can't maintain orientation except through movement. You go into acro and you're going to lose orientation easily on this. Not a bad little drone. Not bad at all. With that 6X uh, stack, all in one stack, that's pretty neat, actually, what they're coming out with nowadays. And that's included on this thing. <laughs> okay, let's go into line of sight. We're going to start off again 2S line of sight and then switch to um, uh, 3S to finish it off. So hold on, folks. Let's put it on the pad. And then I'll. Put another battery in. Yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> I'll put another battery in and then we'll see how it flies FPV. So hold on, folks. Okay, I lied. Uh, we're going to fly 3S only with this today. Uh, the other 2S that I brought with me wasn't fully charged. So let's go to Acro. And let me adjust this on my head so I can see it a little bit better. So we should be good there. And then select, here, let me adjust a little bit more. And then arming and take it to the air. Let's see what we got here. First off, I see right away that I need to uh, raise my antennas up on my goggles. <laughs> there we go. And that's better. So let's ride it around the park first. See how we how it does going around the park. Around the baseball field here. And coming back in. Going by us. And then going up, and then let's try a roll. Rolls nicely. Feels good. How about a forward flip. Flips nicely. Let's go around the poles. So, 
You know, this thing's selectable at 2,500 and 200 milliwatt. I believe I, I do have this set for, um, right now, for uh, 100 milliwatt. I'm seeing a little bit of, or a little bit of uh, fuzziness in the 100 milliwatt. You can see that, too, in the recording, I'm, I'm pretty sure, folks. Ooh, this got a lot of punch at 3S. Yeah, like I said, you know, I think force is probably an overkill for this thing. That's 3S punch here, folks. So 3S is more than enough for this. Although some people are going to want to go for the 4S, I'm sure. But I think you're, it's overkill doing so. So, I got a wind picking up here, but it's, don't care. Don't care about that wind. Okay, I'm gonna go run the bases here. Or <laughs> let's go right in the outfield here. Go into the outfield. Let's pick up some speed. And you know what? I want to raise that camera up. Because I'm tilting my head, I'm noticing. So, so go into angle. I'm gonna come back here and land it real quick. If I can find this again. There we are. That wind again is picking up. So bring it in here. I'm going to raise up the camera real high, folks, So because I want to see how fast this can go. Where's that pad? Ah, close enough. <laughs> Hold on, folks. Let me raise the camera. Move it up a bit. I got it up way up this time, folks. I was craning my neck. Okay, let's see if that helps in any. And selecting acro, and arming, and taking the air again. There we go, that's better. Less craning of the neck. <laughs> that's much better. Yeah, this screams. This actually moves quite fast. This is, moves very fast. Okay, coming back, coming back. There's the other end of the field there. This thing moves. How's it turn on a dime? Let's see. Let's go around this thing. Going around, going around. Turns very well. Let's try the other way, turn it. And I just noticed power's getting low. Power's getting low, and I think that battery came off. Did you see where it landed, my love? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we found it, and that's why we it zipped around once it landed on the ground, because I didn't have this in here. This is one of the things about it this that I kind of don't like is you get this tiny little strap and uh, you're going to have to come up with a better way to hold your batteries in because the battery can come loose as you've seen there from this flight but all in all this thing can move for a whoop folks uh, it has a lot of power and a lot of speed so it is actually a pretty good flyer again I was able to fly this 2s and 3s and supposedly this has 4s uh, capability but again 3s is more than overkill for this 4s is definitely going to be overkill in my opinion Although some, some people probably want to try it. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101 with a little Turbo B. Signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So... Give it a try, folks.